hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery, they break out, and blood toucheth the blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishers of the sea also shall be taken away. Israelites, the beast system powered by the kingdom of darkness is a well-organized system. Satan, unclean spirits, the watchers, and their seed are not going to give up on an opportunity to rule this earth. The seed of the fallen and the entire kingdom of darkness know what their end would be. Satan and his angels want to take as many as they could to the lake of fire. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. A lot of Israelites are perishing for a lack of knowledge in the awakening. The scripture said, Because you reject knowledge and forgotten the laws of the Most High, you could no longer be a priest to the Most High. Yah would change your glory into shame. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. It is important for you to not let rebellious Israelites take you down the wrong path. Many are very carnal and operating in the flesh. Until they learn to operate in the spirit, they will not understand the mystery. Many indigenous people do not know how to allow the Most High to lead, know how to submit to the Most High to obtain freedom. Many are operating independently from the Most High. They believe they will set themselves free. The scripture said, who the Most High set free is free indeed. If the Son therefore shall make you free, Ye shall be free indeed. The Holy Spirit must reveal truth to you. No amount of books written by the heathens is going to reveal the affairs of the Most High. If you want to know the truth, the Holy Spirit must reveal the truth. The scripture said the Holy Spirit would guide you into all truth and tell you the things to come. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Israelites, Satan, unclean spirits, and those who descend from the seed of the fallen love power. The Caucasoid species love money and power. Money is their God. Through money, they control the world. Every major corporations and governments are run by the seed of the fallen. Only a few corporations are owned by the indigenous people. The corporations that are owned by the indigenous people are subordinate to the laws and standards of the bee system. The Caucasoy species will do anything for money and power. The white male, many people mistake for Esau, would never give up an opportunity to rule and dominate another group. The scripture said, you would know a person by their fruits. Wherefore, by their fruits. You shall know them. If you cannot find the answers in the scriptures, look at their behavior to identify them. Does the Caucasian male that is including the Asian male and all their subspecies have displayed the behavior that they despise their birthrights? I want you to be honest with yourself and think about this. Have the white male and all its subspecies ever relinquished an opportunity to rule and control the earth? All my life, I've seen the Caucasian male in the position of rulership and dominating the indigenous people. The scripture said Esau despised his birthrights. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this 
birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Does the behavior of the Caucasian male and all of his subspecies show that he is careless with his birthrights? Absolutely not. Many of you are saying Esau is the father to the white race. When have the white men ever say to a black man, I do not care about my birthrights and my future. You can have it. History have shown the white male robbing the indigenous people of their inheritance all over the world. The Caucasoid species refuse to surrender what they have stolen. A few months ago, black people were trying to convince white people to give them reparations. How is that working for you? Their love of money and power would not allow them to give back what they stole. The scripture said the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. The beast system is the kingdom of darkness network in the physical realm. The workers of iniquity work for the kingdom of darkness. The scripture said we are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. The seed of the fallen is a part of the kingdom of darkness. The Caucasoid species are dominating with the kingdom of darkness. The white male has aligned himself with the beast system to keep him in the dominant position. Satan will seize the opportunity to rule over the indigenous people every chance he gets. The Caucasian male would not set a stranger over them. Esau despised his birthrights. He did not care for his birthrights until it was too late. The Edomite decreed to never set their own people over themselves to rule. The Edomites set a stranger over them as their king. Therefore, the sons of Esau swore, saying, From that day forward, they would not choose a king from their brethren, but one from a strange land unto this day. When the Edomites went to battle with the Horites and the children of the east, the book of Jasher reveals some Edomites turn against their brethren and fight against their own people. That is the reason the Edomites refused to allow their own people to reign over them. And all the children of Esau swore, saying that none of their brethren should ever reign over them, but a strange man who is not of their brethren, for the souls of all the children of Esau were embittered, every man against his son, brother and friend, on account of the evil they sustained from their brethren when they fought with the children of Seir. Does the decision the Edomites made to set a stranger over them as king sound like the behavior of the white man? Biracial President Barack Obama is considered the first black president. How did the Caucasian species receive him? During Obama presidency, police violence against black people increased. The indigenous people have a history of setting a heathen over them to reign. Every time you cast a vote, you are setting a heathen over you. The Most High said to his people, Do not set a heathen or a stranger over you. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. The indigenous people have a history of letting their enemies into the most intimate places in their lives. When their enemies turn on them, the indigenous people are surprised. Many Israelites and indigenous people are trading their glory for a few dollars. Many Israelites are including the white male into the Israelite bloodline, giving their inheritance to the seed of the fallen and the strangers. The indigenous people are comfortable setting a foreigner over them to rule. White Jesus is a prime example. Many indigenous people believe white Jesus is coming to save them. The white man would never set a black man over him to rule. In the history of the United States, the closest the USA got to a black president was Obama. Every governor in every state is white. Every position that has power to change things are occupied by the Caucasians. Esau displayed the behavior of an indigenous black person. Esau is not the white man. If the behavior of Esau and his descendants do not convince you that the Edomites are not white, let us explore Esau's bloodline. 
I have seen many people comment Esau mixed his seed with everybody. Therefore, Esau's DNA changed. If Esau's DNA changed from mixing, then this confirmed Esau was black and indigenous before he mixed his seed with the heathens. Israelites are mixing their seed with every nation today. How come the Israelites remain black? The sons of Israel are taking the strange women for wives and proclaiming the children born to them are Israelites. I guess when it comes to you are what your father is, Esau is excluded. Esau came from a two black parent household. Esau married four black women. Somehow Esau and his offspring are white. Israelites, you must understand how bloodline works to identify the nations in the most highest perspective. The progenitor of a bloodline can marry any human woman of his choice to create his bloodline. Esau is the progenitor to the Edomite bloodline. Esau, a black man, married black women. The scriptures reveal Esau took his wives from the daughters of Canaan and the Ishmaelites. Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan, Adah, the daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Ahalibama, the daughter of Anah, the daughter of Zibion the Hivite, and Bashamath, Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nabajath. I did not read in the scriptures of Esau taking wives from the seed of the fallen. When Esau saw that his parents were not pleased with his Canaanite wives, Esau took a wife from the seed of Ishmael, his uncle. The scriptures made sure to let everyone know that Ham is the father to Canaan. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. The B system recognized Ham's descendants as the black indigenous people. The scripture said Esau's wives descend from the Hivatite bloodline. The Hivatites are the descendants of Heth. Heth is Canaan's second son. Canaan is Ham's son. And Canaan begat Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Hethite, and the Archite, and the Sinite. Esau, the progenitor of the Edomite bloodline, married black women. Esau's wife from Ishmael was a black woman as well. The foundation to Esau's bloodline is indigenous. To keep your bloodline pure, the children from Esau and his wives must marry within. If the sons of Esau marry strange women, they are cutting off the Edomite bloodline and establishing their own bloodline. Isaac, Abraham's son, is not a progenitor to a bloodline because Isaac married within. Isaac passed to his sons, Esau and Jacob, his father's Abraham's bloodline, which is the Hebrew bloodline. Listen carefully. To pass on your father's bloodline to your children, you must marry within. The moment you marry outside your bloodline, you are establishing your own bloodline. The scriptures reveal to us that Esau and his offspring live and multiply in the land of Seir. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. The inhabitants living in the land of Seir were the Horite people. The word Horite means cave dwellers. By now we all should know the identity of the cave dwellers. Esau and his children live among the Horites for a short period of time. And the Horites in their Mount Seir unto El Paran, which is by the wilderness. Many people say the Edomites mix their seed with the Horites. The Bible said the Most High made the Edomites destroy the Horite people and gave the Edomites the land of Seir for a possession. The Orims also dwelt in Seir before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them when they had destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their stead, as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which the Lord gave unto them. Mount Seir is the home to the Edomites and a remnant of the children of the angels, the giants. The Ammonites, Lot descendants, dwell near that region as well. The Most High destroyed the seed of the fallen on Mount Seir, as well as in the entire region they dwell. That also was accounted a land of giants. Giants dwelt therein in old time, and the Ammonites called them Zamzumims, a people great and many and tall as the Anakims. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them, and dwelt in their stead as he did to the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Orims from before them, 
and they succeeded them, and dwelt in their stead even unto this day. For the Edomite bloodline to multiply, Esau's descendants married within to increase the Edomite bloodline. The book of Jasher revealed the Edomites killed the inhabitants of Mount Seir. However, they allow a few to live. The book of Jasher revealed about 50 male and female. The Edomites enslaved the men and married the women. After the battle between the Edomites and the Horites, Esau's five sons divided Mount Seir and dwelled there. And it came to pass after the battle, the children of Esau turned back and came home unto Seir. And the children of Esau slew those who had remained in the land of the children of Seir. They slew also their wives and little ones. They left not a soul alive except fifty young lads and damsels whom they suffered to live. And the children of Esau did not put them to death. And the lads became their slaves and the damsel they took for wives. And the children of Esau dwell in Seir, in the place of the children of Seir. And they inherited their land and took possession of it. The scriptures say Esau's seed is spoiled. The Edomite seed is spoiled because Esau established his bloodline with the Canaanites. The Canaanites are a cursed people. Noah cursed Canaan to serve his brethren. The Most High cursed Canaan when he stole the promised land from Shem's descendants. The Canaanites were pagans and the Most High cursed them with leprosy. Just because the Canaanites had the curse of leprosy, this does not mean they are Caucasian. The Bible talk about clean and unclean people with leprosy. And the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh. And when the hair in the plague is turned to white, and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy. And the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. And the priest shall look on him again the seventh day, and behold, if the plague be somewhat dark, and the plague spread not in the skin, the priest shall pronounce him clean. It is but a scab, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. Being cursed with leprosy does not turn a black person into a white person with colored hair, colored eyes, and straight hair like the children of the angels. A black leper would still have woolly hair and black features. Israelites, crossbreeding creates a new species. When the Edomites crossbreed with the seed of the fallen, the children from the union is a new species. The children with the seed of the fallen are no longer Edomites. Remember, you have to marry within to pass on your father's bloodline to your children. Crossbreeding is how the serpent seed increases population. Therefore, it is important for Israelites and the indigenous people to value their seed and womb. You are what your father is doctrine is misleading the sons of Israel into helping the kingdom of darkness increase its population. The Most High warned his people about the strange woman and men. Many of you believe Esau's DNA is altered and he is not black because his seed is spoiled. The Israelites in this generation is no different from the Edomite. How come many do not believe the Israelites are spoiling their seed when they intermingle the royal bloodline with every nation? Does the rules change for Israelites? How come Esau is not black and his father Isaac is a black man? If you're going to serve the Most High, serve him in the spirit and in truth. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. The seed of the serpent has intermingled with every indigenous population. That is how the tares are living among the wheat. This is how the tares have assumed the identity of the indigenous people all over the world. The land of the north was given to Japheth as an inheritance. Today the Caucasian species dominate that region. Japheth's descendants still dwell in their land. The beast system has pushed the carbon copy, the Europeans. Too many indigenous people are falling for the deception of the hybrids. The Edomites are still black. Just like the other Gentile nations, the seed of the fallen has stolen their identity. The Most High said the Israelites will possess the remnant of Edom and all the other nations. That they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord, that doeth this. Many Israelites mistake the hatred Esau has towards Jacob for the hatred and oppression they experience from the hands of the white man. 
I believe many Israelites except Esau is the white man because of the discrimination and ongoing fight between the Caucasian species and the indigenous black people. Israelites, the Edomites are afraid of the Israelites. Every time Esau rise against the Israelites for battle, the Edomites were defeated. The Edomites recognize the strength of the sons of Jacob. You can find this information in the book of Jasher. And Joab sat upon the throne of Bela as king in his stead. And Joab reigned in Edom over all the children of Esau ten years. And the children of Esau went no more to fight with the sons of Jacob from that day forward. For the sons of Esau knew the Valar of the sons of Jacob, and they were greatly afraid of them. But from that day forward, the children of Esau hated the sons of Jacob, and the hatred and enmity were very strong between them all the days unto this day. The hatred many indigenous people are experiencing from the Caucasian species is not the hatred we read about in the scriptures from the Edomites. The racism, discrimination, and hostility the indigenous people all over the world is experiencing from the Caucasian species is the enmity the Most High said he would put between the serpent seed and the woman seed. The scripture said the serpent would bruise the heels of the woman seed. The woman seed would bruise the head of the serpent. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. The Caucasian people and all of its subspecies, many of you mistake for Esau, is the offspring of the fallen. They resemble the serpent seed. They have the serpent seed DNA through the Neanderthal genes. They share the same characteristics with Satan. The beast system cannot tell you their origin. They are not indigenous to any land on this earth. Everywhere they traveled, they found indigenous dark people dwelling on the land. The Caucasians are ruling this world. The scripture said Satan is the god of this world and the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Israelites, stop mistaking the seed of the fallen for Esau, the heathens, and the Gentiles the Bible speak of. Satan wants to operate undetected among you. Satan wants you to channel your anger towards flesh and blood. Remember, we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. For though we walk in the flesh... We do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. If you fight in the flesh, Satan will defeat you every time because the flesh is Satan's territory. While the indigenous people are hating their brothers and sisters, the kingdom of darkness is destroying the indigenous people in the process. Yes, Esau hate Jacob and we know the reason. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High has a remnant of Edomites called by his name. The scriptures said not to hate the Edomite. Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite, for he is thy brother. Thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian, because thou wast a stranger in his land. Israelites, many of us, including me, were misled about the characters in the scriptures. The kingdom of darkness deceived us into believing we were the curse of Ham. The kingdom of darkness has inserted many words into the scriptures to confuse us. Red and hairy does not equal white. Black babies do not get their melanin until several weeks after birth. Some of the darkest shade of indigenous people have red undertone. The Most High has awakened us out of our slumber to learn truth. If you're not elevating from glory to glory, then you're not growing spiritually. The kingdom of darkness plant confusion and distraction into our communities to keep us divided. The scripture said a kingdom or household divided cannot stand. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. The seed of the fallen know how to keep the indigenous people divided. Israelites, when the Most High is revealing information that you do not understand, do not allow Satan to come and snatch the seed that was planted to elevate you. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, 
and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received a seed by the wayside. Israelites, to connect to the Most High, Yah has to lead and you must humble yourself. For you to see the Most High, you must operate in the Spirit. A person with a carnal mind cannot understand the things of the Spirit. Get rid of the indoctrinated mind of this world. Listen to the abundant knowledge the Most High is making available for His people. Interact with the Most High in the awakening. Do not allow the heathen's books distract you from pure wisdom from the Most High. Israelites, allow the Most High to show Himself strong through you. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield.